It's time for everybody's favorite person. Uh, I'm just kidding, it's, it's only me. My name is Jim Nicodemus. I am a performer, a director, and do a little stand-up comedy from time to time. When I was a child, I was, I was very introverted, and I was bullied a lot. Bullies, if they're laughing, they're not picking on you. And that's, that's, that's how I got started. When I started theater in high school, I just felt like I was worth something for the first time in my life. I got to play um, Matthew Brady in Inherit the Wind. We had people, Billy, laughing through the whole thing, so that was, that was awesome. There is no more bigger gratification than that applause from the audience. It's my creative outlet. It's what keeps me sane. And if I can't do that, then what's the use? So I make sure that I can always do that. About three years ago, I was faced with uh, heart issues and a lot of knee pain. And eventually I got word that I had osteoarthritis in both knees. It got me to a point where I just didn't want to go anywhere because I knew it was gonna get uncomfortable. I thought I was done and I felt really depressed. And I had a doctor that was prescribing me uh, painkillers. I was, I got stuck on the pills and I didn't want to be there anymore. It happened to be the Quest Center was right next to my doctor's office. So I went over there. I had considered acupuncture. I didn't think it was an, a viable option for me financially. But when I got there, they hooked me up with the WISH program. And the WISH program helps cover that for me. I don't have to pay for it. And they do cover counseling, which I took advantage of one-on-one -on -one counseling over Zoom meetings. The counselor was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Before I knew it, you know, I had this group of people behind me pushing me forward, not dragging me back. They opened my eyes to who I really am. Not who I was, but who I am. And I got to a point where I didn't have to just give up, because that's what I wanted to do for a long time. I wanted to give up. I thought my health was too severe to ever get back on stage again. I can find ways to control the physical and emotional pain without medication. I can be a, a, a part of society and I can get through this. Quest has just brought something out of me. It's kind of hard for me to explain. It's very important to me to know that I am worth something. And, and I'm a very loving and caring person, but I kind of forgot how to love and care for myself. And that's something I've been learning to do within the last few years. Six months after my, my heart issues, I was back on stage again. And that lifted me up higher than I'd been high in my whole life. I'm not done, I'm only 65. I got a good two weeks left yet. So, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, just practice.